Hello, everybody. Today, I will be talking about movement. Movement, the GPS cattle tracking solution for an efficient operation. I will be talking today about the start of movement, what can we do with the technology, what impact do we make, and what is possible in the future. How did we start? I'm Peter Vogels, co-founder and co-CEO of Movement. Movement started in 2017 within the Raab Bank. We submitted the idea of movement into the internal innovation competition, which we won. After that, we went into an accelerator program. We really used the innovation framework to develop our ear tags. So we went to Australia. We did uh, pilots with uh, colors first. We re did over 100 interviews with farms. We worked at the cattle farm. So we really um, saw what the problems were firsthand. That's where we also learned that uh, cattle farmers and uh, beef cattle farmers do not want collars. They do want ear tanks. That's where the Things Network and Sodak, our R&D partner, uh, came into the picture. We developed an ear tag together with them, which we still use today. After, Of course, we did many iterations. Uh, we're based in uh, Brisbane, uh, Australia. That's where a large part of our team is. Uh, and that's the biggest market, and Utrecht, the Netherlands. We uh, separated from the Raab Bank, so we're fully independent uh, movement uh, from early 2020. I will explain uh, movement uh, with, uh, with this uh, video. Farming has been the driving force of our civilization for centuries, but with an ever-growing population and the increasing impact farming has on our environment, we need to keep innovating the way in which we feed the world. Take the Australian Outback. One of the biggest challenges cattle farmers face every day is the sheer amount of distance between them and their animals. Driving two and a half hours to check on cattle is no exception. To help Australian cattle farmers monitor their cattle from great distance, Rabobank, a global leader in agricultural financing, started movement. Uh, with movement, we have the ambition to track and trace cattle in the Australian outback. At the heart of movement is the ear tag, a long-range, low-power node that transmits the cow's location, giving all sorts of valuable insights, like location alerts when a cow has broken a fence, or when a bull is looking for opportunities in a paddock it's not supposed to be in, but also the ability to analyze movement patterns to see where a herd has grazed in order to make better infrastructural decisions. And by looking at a cow's movement, we even believe we can see when it's going to be fertile. By working closely with Australian cattle farmers, the movement team has discovered which solutions fulfill their most important needs. It's given us a taste of what this technology can do. Saving you time, money, and looking after your animals in a more humane way. Movement driving the production of our food into a new era. Movement. Uh, as you saw uh, in the video, that's what we do. Uh, some things are we still developing. But as you saw, a lot of the decisions of cattle farmers are based on experience and subjective data. Um, basically, they don't know where the cattle are. If the cattle are in trouble, if they jump the fence, if the is about to, a cow about to call, how the bulls are performing if the cows are being stolen, if there's sufficient water, all these things is what we can solve with our ear tank or are going to uh, solve. Oh, sorry. So what, I mean, what value does this bring like in money terms for the farmers? As you can see, I mean, these figures are based uh, from Meat Livestock um, Australia report. Um, they basically say location, behavioral, and state. Those are the three items where they um, uh, see, uh, uh, which they classify. First, uh, location, basically the GPS. Here you can see the expenses and benefits. Then the next thing, what we are developing uh, this year, is the behavioral insights. And then what we didn't even include are the state. So they're basically the grazing patterns. Grazing patterns are very important, so farmers can see where they graze and make better infrastructural decisions on how they make their paddocks. How does the technology work? Basically, we have the ear tag. The ear tag, about every two hours, gets the coordinates from the satellite and sends it over uh, yeah, the LoRa 
uh, to the antenna. The antenna sends it up to uh, the cloud onto uh, our software platform. We are not just a hardware company. We are really a software company as well. What's inside the GPS ear tag? The main components are the GPS chip, of course, the LoRa antenna, the QR code for easy onboarding, which is very important, and a solar panel. Uh, soon we will, or like we're already having the accelerometer uh, inside now as well. Um, so yeah, and I mean, these are the main components. Uh, I've been told there are about 48 components in, in our ear tag. And every, every day we're trying to improve uh, these uh, things, not only hardware, but also the firmware and software around it. What we've been asking a lot as well, uh, how do we determine the uh, coverage? Um, we do that with radio mapping. Here you can see uh, an example. We have here two towers at two farms. Uh, the green part, that's where we have coverage, and the black part, uh, we don't. Now the farmer can decide uh, for his own if, uh, yeah, if it, uh, the ear tag uh, movement is useful for him. How can we use this technology? Uh, yeah, first of all, I want to show you this, this uh, uh, short video to show you how um, easy it is uh, to onboard our ear tag. It's part of an existing process. They need to tag their cattle anyway. Uh, they put in their uh, management ID of the cow, and this is how they tag the cow. This all needs to be within 10 to 15 seconds because these cattle farmers, they have about hundreds of thousands of animals. So it needs to be quick uh, uh, through the cross. But you have your whole operation in one view. Um, here is an example of, of a, um, our app at the moment. Um, yeah, you can zoom in, you see all the management IDs, you can see um, the last known locations of the animal, of, the, of this cow, uh, of uh, heifer, but also um, the bull. Where is the bull? What uh, is it doing? Uh, all, because bulls are very important. I mean, they, <laughs> they make uh, yeah, the cows, they need to get in calf again. We told this farmer as well, or the farmer uh, saw that some of his cows were uh, uh, out of his uh, uh, yeah, uh, property. Uh, we called him, he said, no worries mate, I'm, I'm on top of it. But it gives a real alert. And I mean, from his homestead, he can see uh, that the cows are outside uh, the paddock. Here you can see grazing patterns. On the top left corner, you see a whole operation and we zoomed in in a, a couple of paddocks. In the left bottom corner, you could see where the cows were roaming the fence. When the farmer saw this, he thought like, okay, the, uh, I mean, the, uh, uh, the cattle are looking for greener pastures somewhere else. So I need to move the cattle. These are really important uh, insights uh, for the cattle farmer. Bull performance. This is what we're developing at, uh, at the moment and hopefully release somewhere in 2021. A bull is about eight thousand to eighty thousand dollars. So you want to have the bull working. It also needs to work during heat. So in here we have the temperature during the day and an estimation on the amount of kilometers uh, he walks during the day. But also comparing him to other bulls, there are about one bull per thirty um, cows. This gives uh, an indication, some insights to the farmer. The farmer still needs to make his own decisions. We do have a, a LoRa network yeah, with uh, our own antennas. Yeah, we use the things industries. So we can add also other sensors. A cattle farmer needs to sometimes drive about an hour to his water point. He checks his water points twice a week to just to check if there is water. With our uh, app, uh, you can uh, see if the uh, trough is full. This will save, he will still go once a week, but this will save him instantly a lot of money. So he, yeah, uh, we report every 15 minutes and he can see, uh, yeah, basically if there is still water for the cattle. We tag more than only cattle. Eh? Cattle is the main thing. We also tag sheep now, which is, uh, we're going to be a huge market as well, but we also do some wildlife projects for research. Here you can see uh, the koala. We partner with 
uh, a wildlife organization in Australia where they can monitor directly where the koalas are. So they can see what the patterns the, uh, and you know, where the koalas eat, which is uh, really, really uh, important. Yeah, you see him go. But also bisons in Montana. I mean, they want to see the migration patterns and where the bison uh, graze. Uh, here you can see a short video of all the bison uh, over a period of time. So not only cattle. Where do we stand now and what is possible? We are continuously looking at our solar panels, our internal battery, so we can send more GPS uh, messages. What we, this year is also a focus on the accelerometer. We want to know, uh, based on the accelerometer, uh, what we have learned from the dairy industry, that uh, you can detect fertility, uh, calving, uh, it's easier to detect if a cow is not moving anymore, um, but also theft based on accelerometer. It's way easier to see if there are abnormal behavior, um, yeah, or uh, absurd, uh, yeah, weird movements. With the accelerometer, we also hope, and also on location, to detect certain diseases. Not all of them, because we can't measure the temperature. That's not possible. That will take, uh, require too much battery, maybe in a couple of years but also certain diseases. Traceability is also very important. We see that uh, in the chain, they require more and more um, uh, traceability. And this is also very, I mean, from a sustainable uh, point of view, if we link more data, if the cattle farmers become better, in Australia, for example, but also in other uh, areas in the world, they have about one cow per 20 hectares in the extensive areas, uh -huh, or one cow per 20 football fields. If we link those data and uh, the uh, farm become more efficient, we can have one cow per 15 football fields. So the stocking rate goes up and um, we uh, need less land for the cattle, uh, yeah, uh, for in the world at the moment. We uh, are commercial since 2020. We are fully independent. Um, we have continuous uh, production and increasing uh, numbers. Uh, as I told you in the presentation, we're always uh, developing the hardware and the software. Uh, we already have clients now in over 14 uh, countries. Uh, we have a team of 11 people now in Brisbane and in Utrecht, an external development team in India and international partners, of which two are uh, very important, I want to highlight here as well, are Sodak and the Things uh, Industries, very important uh, partners uh, for us. Thank you for listening. And uh, yeah, let me know if you have uh, any questions. <laughs>